it's really hot today. Yeah, so originally we were gonna go to Subway because we saw this ad that said that they had like these um, Halo Top milkshakes or something. And the girl was like, oh, we don't know what you're talking about. So we looked at the ad and it's not till the end of the month, but Baskin Robbins is like next door to it. So we walked and got some ice cream, but I haven't been there since I was probably like 10. And you said you've never been there? Been a long time. Yeah, so. I didn't realize, because I'm used to going to Cold Stone, I didn't realize that they had like 30 different flavors to choose from. So it literally probably took me like 10 minutes just to try a bunch of samples. So to the girls that work at the Baskin Robbins, I am sorry for all those people that are like me that have to try every flavor and then still can't make up their mind. I'm pretty sure you're not the only one. Those other no, that's why I said to all the people who do that, like me. Anyway, I'm gonna finish my ice cream before it starts to melt. Just don't make a mess in the car. I am not making a mess. I know, just try not to, but if you don't, if you do, it's okay, accidents happen. It's like wetting your pants, okay? Okay, <laughs> goodbye. So it is some random Wednesday in July and I'm going blueberry picking um, I'm going by myself But you know what that's fine because I get to spend a little me time But um, who knows how much I'm gonna pick I at least have to pick two pounds That's their minimum, but I'll probably pick way more than that because I love blueberries um, But yeah it's gonna be pretty warm, so it's already eight in the morning. I decided to go right after work because they're only open till noon. But yeah, maybe I'll get some breakfast on the way. We'll see. Okay, and eight pounds later, I have another bag that's uh, quite a bit bigger than this. This is three pounds, and then I have a five and a half pound bag. And this year, they're putting them in these little mesh bags instead of the flats. And this is actually, I think, much better because it's easier for me to store in my fridge. But now I'm all sweaty. I gotta go home, shower. Uh, it was so much fun, and I'm gonna definitely come back. I guess they started the season late this year, so they're gonna be probably till August. So I'll definitely come back because most of these are gonna be all gone by make, me making stuff, and I want some to eat for myself. They're so good. Oh, it's so hot. It 79 degrees, so I better go get some water, and then I will get back to you when I bake some stuff. So I, I noticed on my way to the store that there's this boba place, and I don't know how to explain boba. This is like my first time having it, but I know what it is. It's like the original boba was is made like they're little beads that are made out of tapioca. Um, and then it's tea, you know, that you can have any flavor of tea you want, or it can be like a smoothie. So I got a tea one, and it's purple, but that's not why I got it. Um, it's coconut and tegu or something like that. I don't know what that is, but it smelled really good. And she said it tastes like what it smells like. And then I got um, boba jellies. So I tried those, because I didn't know what those were. And they're really good. And I got a um, aloe vera one for the jellies. I am excited to try this. So I have to put the straw in there. Put the straw in there. Let's try it. Mm. That's really good. Some of the jellies came out in the straw. That's really good. Wow. It's too bad they don't have one closer to me because 
I don't come down here very often. They're like, well, there's one downtown and they're gonna put one in Walla Walla. And I'm like, okay, Walla Walla is like a whole state away. Mm. This is gonna be gone in like two seconds. This is really good. And they had so many different flavors too. Glad they have a punch card because 10th one is free and that's not gonna last very long. It's so good. You can't really tell, but my eyes are super watery right now. Oh, focus. Anyway, my eyes are really watery and I think it's just because I've been outside all day and the pollen and stuff is just like yesterday, Kevin was even like, I can smell the pollen. Any tips on how to not have watery eyes because I have so bad watery eyes all the time from the dog hair and the pollen and it's just really bad and they just water all the time and people are like have you been crying and I'm like no I haven't been crying also this lady got out of her car out of this bug and she was all like why are you filming kind of a look but you know what I don't care ah I would appreciate if anybody knows a watery eye allergy remedy. So I got another mad sunburn and unfortunately I just did not think about it because it was so early in the morning that I kind of thought yeah it should be fine. I didn't really actually even have it come across my mind at all and then it wasn't until towards right before I left that my right shoulder was actually starting to hurt and I was like uh oh I didn't even think my left one was that bad, but it is. So, yeah, this is fun. My second sunburn, and hopefully my last one of all summer. <sighs> so just a warning, even if it's early in the morning and super cloudy, put on sunscreen. Don't be like me. So why am I at Chick-fil-A at eight in the morning? Because we're going fishing. Um. We're going to the lake to go fishing. First time for Kevin. We're going with his brother. Um, I've gone fishing quite a few times. Now I'm no expert, <laughs> but I do know a few things. I know the basics. I'm really tired. I did not sleep very much last night because of a long story that maybe I'll tell you later. And I'm really hungry. I want their chicken burrito, so let's get going. Okay. So now just say normal. Oh, normal overhead. Hand. Overhead. And then when you pull that that loop through, you're going to create that loop, right? Okay. Spit on it. <laughs> yeah, you want to get it a little bit wet. Okay. And then put your hoop or your hook through this hoop that you created. Like that? Yep. And then you can start cinching it. What? He's out there, huh? Yeah. What is this guy so? I know. Okay, so we got back from fishing and unfortunately the first place we went to at the lake was just not um a good place i mean it was good for us to like have kevin learn how to do certain stuff but it was just not um any catch there so after a few hours we ended up going to another spot and we ended up catching a few fish there but they're just some like little um Honestly, if you've ever played Pokemon, they reminded me of Magic Carp, because they're just the very common small fish. And um, Brenda was like, his brother's fiance was like, oh, they're just so stupid fish. They just are such an easy catch, and they were. I caught three of those, and I have a picture of one of them. And um, for the most part, I didn't get burnt, except for um, one spot right here. I'm gonna show you right there and I have absolutely no idea why that one little spot got burnt and then it got burnt on my nose a little but I covered it up um, other than that I did actually remember the sunscreen this time um, but hopefully next time when we go fishing in a few weeks at the river it won't be so hot we had to leave a little early because it was 90 degrees and that's just 
way too hot for Kevin. It was getting too hot for me too, but it was just way too hot. So um, we ended up leaving and yeah, I don't know if they caught anything else while we were gone. They wanted to catch trout. We were really trying to catch those, but none today. So maybe next time, uh, now that we actually know, because a lot of what we were doing in the very beginning of our fishing was changing the lures and then helping Kevin learn how to do stuff. And a lot of our lines kept getting like um, tangled up and stuff. And so we had to restrain everything and it was just a mess. But now that we all have it under control and in hand, like maybe next time it'll go better. I don't know. We'll see.